Welcome, Lipsy's Guns fans. Next to Jason Klausner, I'm Rob Abrazino, and we are outdoors today. Something a little different uh, and exciting. And I'll tell you what, it is uh, August in South Louisiana, so it's hot. It's a little warm. Hot, hot. Uh, however, not nearly as hot as what's in this box right here. This little black looking Tupperware box does not contain Jason's lunch, <laughs> but rather something that may very well end up in our Lipsy's exclusive Hall of Fame. Jason, I'm going to let you do the unveiling. What are we looking at? Rob, we're looking at a project that's about three years in the making. So, you know, we've wanted to do something that was super, super cool with, with Glock, and I think I think we finally pulled it off. I think so, too. So, to get the surprise over with here. Let's do it. We have got the first ever Glock retro pistol. So, this is a, uh, a the Glock P80. So, this gun here is a replica of the very first Glock that was made for the Austrian military. You know, I was under the impression, it, it seems to be common knowledge, I thought that, that the G17 was the first Glock ever made. That's kind of how it's touted, at least. So what, where did this come from? Then? Well, th that's true. This is a Glock 17 Gen 1, basically. But in 1980, the Austrian military decided that they wanted a new service pistol. And so they put solicitations out. Well, Gas and Glock at the time was not in the pistol-making business. Right. Um, but he submitted a, a gun. And in 1982, Glock won the contract, and that gun was 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 called the P80. So the very first Glocks that were made were were for the Austrian military. So this gun has the P80 markings, yeah, like the original. So this gun is basically a a Generation One G17 size pistol that's marked like the Austrian military pistol. It's really a very very accurate replica of the original. And uh, we can go over a few of the few of the differences between then and now, and sure, and kind sure. of uh, you know what we're uh, used to seeing today. The obvious difference is the Gen One frame. So the original frames did not have a, an accessory rail. They didn't have finger grooves, and the and the stippling pattern was different. It was actually more of a wrap around um, stippling on here that uh, was um, smoother than than later generations. But it actually feels really really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know I, I really like it a lot. There's some other things that were different. You know, the original guns had a flat uh, extractor. Uh, they, you know, they didn't have the little uh, loaded chamber indicator. Mainly, the styling is going to be in, in the frame. It's a Glock through and through. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's 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 the most proven polymer pistol on planet Earth. Yeah. And it really hasn't changed much since the first iteration right here. Right. Yeah. There's been some internal changes, but for the most part, this gun is very similar. You know, the, the original P80 is very similar to the current Gen 5 gun. Um, out there. So obviously they couldn't recreate the exact gun that was made in 1982. Right. But this is as close as they, they could do. And this was all done by Glock at the factory. Um, they actually had to remake a new mold. Uh, the original mold for this had been repurposed for, for other guns, other projects. So this is, they had to remake the mold, but they went through and made everything exactly like they did in the originals. So they really did a great job. You know what, uh, what I love about this is the, the collectability of it, the it's you know for you music or you rock guys out there, this is like the the zeppelin of polymer pistols. This spawned an entire generation of what we see today. I mean, it's it's the the niche is a mile wide and and deep. And Glock started all this, and it started with this very gun right here. That's that's probably the coolest part about this whole project. Right. It's really amazing. You think about it. You know, in 1982, this gun came out. Um, it really didn't get into the United States until about '86 you know, as the Gen 117. And then after that, I mean, it didn't take long. A few years after that, Glock dominated the market. I mean, you went from a guy who had never built a pistol before to owning the market within within less than 10 years. Right, Pretty right. Pretty amazing. Yeah. And to keep it in line with authenticity is the packaging. So it comes in, you know, the Tupperware, the Tupperware container, for lack of a better term, that's kind of the common term for it, though. It really. was. That's how combat <laughs> Tupperware came about. Yeah, we, we worked with Glock to actually recreate the original style Tupperware box. So, you know, we wanted to do this, we wanted to do it right. You know, also we'll actually have a, an over box too that, that this will all set into and we'll uh, have a certificate of authenticity in as well. The over box is great. Uh, it's, you're gonna like that. That again, it just lends to the, uh, the, the collectability and credibility of the gun. And, and by the way, don't remove the sticker. We were taking photos. I'm like, maybe we take the sticker off. Don't do that. It, <laughs> it just keeps it, yeah. it keeps it more vintage. So uh, don't remove your stickers. Uh, you can enjoy the box. So punch your zip code into the dealer finder, find a local Lipsy's dealer near you, get one of these on order. And until next time, 
aim higher.